as I was saying, uh, you can see there's a powder blue tang in here. Uh, he just came in today. He's obviously doing lines of pacing, um, and uh, which is pretty typical of getting used to a space of, of the refined refines of a uh, uh, tight spaces of a of a tank. So anyway, um, uh, obviously treat. Well, constantly actually, this running through the system is uh, cupramine. Can't really see it, but it's uh, Seacom's Cupramine. That uh, this system runs 24/7, and there's always Cupramine running through it, which uh, which obviously is uh, copper. So, uh, and of course, if I see something that comes in that uh, that um, you know that you know has flukes, I'll uh, also treat treat that. That's you know something you obviously see pretty typical with. With angels, um, I treat them with Prozzi Pro. Um, and anyway, uh, this setup stays well. This setup stays running 24/7. It doesn't come down. It uh, it's constantly running. Uh, it's kind of disarray at the moment because I moved about two months ago and everything's not as orderly as it was. But at least it's up and running and functioning, which is the most important thing at the moment. Of course, the uh, the Reef Keeper light. Controls the lights and the temperature. And, you know, it turns heaters on and off, and, and uh, those those sort of things. And of course, make sure that the uh, temperature in the tank is is uh, reasonable. And of course, we've had some pretty hot days, so having the chiller is extremely important. Being that this is uh, this is in a storage area outside, um, so that's basically the gist of it. Um, that's about it, really. 10 gallon on the top, 20 gallon, or excuse me, 40 gallon on the bottom, and 20 gallons, or 20 long over here actually for my uh, adverts and coral. Maybe I'll do another video at some point for that, but for now, that's what this this is for the uh, fish quarantine system. I suggest anyone that that uh, has fish uh, that has a tank. Has fish coming in to quarantine your own fish again, not just for disease purposes, but also to be able to acclimate them to the aquaria, uh, especially if they've, you know, been out of the ocean for a week or so. Um, they definitely haven't adapted to it, and which will adding them with other fish that may potentially pester them um, will only add to the stress and the likeliness that they will not survive. So that's why I think it's so important to, to acclimate uh, with a quarantine tank, not just to treat disease, but also so they have their own space and, and uh, are not pestered and, and also fighting for food. So, But uh, that's about it.